It's what we live by here at KHOU 11 News. We stand for Houston with stories that expose wrongdoing and spotlight problems in our community. But tonight, we are standing for Houston in a much more personal way. We are reuniting a family. A few months ago, we told you about a friendship between Houston police and a homeless painter. And with your social media likes and comments, the story went viral. And tonight, our Melissa Correa reveals how that story led to a reunion between a father and the son who never knew him. God gave me vivid imagination. One of those fantastically creative ones that still could never conjure up what <laughs> was about to happen. You always want something you lose. At 60 years old, Way back when. Rudolph Taylor had made peace with his life. Way back when. Homeless for half of it, a military veteran who served time in prison for the death of his brother. A guy who relied on self-taught talent for food and the occasional cigar. I have to deal with the bitterness of the loss and the anguish. Which still lingers. I only know of two sons. Decades after a separation with his family, a divide that happened before the birth of his second son. There's definitely nothing wrong with my heart. I just wasn't able to use it. So his heart pours onto canvas. More than a year ago, Houston police stumbled into the painter's shack and their fast friendship led to a boost in business and a story on KHOU 11, seen by Kevin. I was pretty certain it was him. Taylor's second son. Growing up, Kevin had little to work with. Not much was shared about his dad. You see, Kevin and his family moved to Colorado. Father and son met briefly when Kevin was three, and at eight years old, he learned his dad lived in Houston. And the search began. As a boy, he scoured phone books, wrote, and mailed letters to anyone with the same last name. Got a, a few return letters over the years and mostly no response from anybody. A few years ago, this photo surfaced and that compelled Kevin to write one more letter, an invitation to his Marine Corps graduation. The letter was returned. Crushed, but still with hope, the handwritten quest morphed into an intense online search. It just so happened that a, a video came up and it said the painter and I knew that he was artistic. Kevin couldn't call police fast enough. I said I, I saw a story and uh, I believe the man that is in the video is my father and could somebody get back to me. <laughs> Captain Bainbridge did and in an unmarked patrol car. Well, here we are. A new friend helped to mend old wounds. Let's go meet your dad. Hi. <laughs> I'm I'm Kevin. I already know, I know boy. I know, I just wanna say it. You just wanna say it, whatever you wanna say, whatever you wanna do. I don't care, boy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh stinky old man. Bad breath and everything, but boy, I'm telling you, I have never had this opportunity. I ain't never had anything against you, not my whole life. Tell me who you are. You know, I ain't heard in a long time. I might need to hear it again. I'm 60 years old. <laughs> I'm Kevin, your son. Thank you very much. The bond between a father and son is one not even the most vivid imagination could conceive. What a story. Mm, wow. Oh my goodness. So I think everyone wants to know at this point, Melissa, where are Kevin and his father tonight? Well, the family reunion was such a happy time, so much joy as you just saw. But as we know, the future is uncertain. Kevin had to go back to Colorado. You see he's taking some college classes, but he is working to get his father help. The painter, meanwhile, is still in North Houston and he's still struggling all, tonight. All the years and to see that moment. Um, Come together.
It's incredible. You, you think about it. You think about the missed opportunities. Yeah, and the Sad. fact that they have this opportunity now. It's, mm -hmm. it's great because of your story. Uh, thanks, Melissa. Yes. Thank and you, guys. Thank you. And, and if you're looking for a missing family member, this might help you. Just go to our website, khu.com. That's where you'll find tips on how to make the most of your search and get contact information for groups that also may be able to help. That is wonderful. Uh